day five of trying to explain every single node in Blender. And today we have the map range node. The map range node has two types. One is a float and the other is a vector. You can watch my video about value types if you want to learn more. You can also do different interpolation methods, which might be useful. But let's get on with the main inputs of the color ramp node. First, you have a clamp, which I'll talk more about later. Then you have the from min, from max, and to min and to max. And then you have the value input itself, where you can just input your value. If you have a value that ranges from zero to five, you can set the from min to zero and the from max to five, and then you can remap that value to a different range. So if you want it to fit in a roughness map, for example, you set the two min to zero and the two max to one. You can invert the value by then setting the two min to one and the two max to zero. And then you can change the interpolation type to whatever you want. Clamping is where this node gets really complicated. By default, the clamp is on, which just means that it behaves in the way you would expect. But if you unclamp this, some really weird things can happen. For example, if you set the from max to half of your maximum value and you have the clamp off, then the resulting value will be twice that of the two max. Because the value you put in is twice that of the from max, that will also result that your two max will be multiplied by two. You can see it as a division where the top part is higher than the bottom part. It will just become uh, more than one. If you learned something, please leave a like and subscribe. If you didn't, leave a comment and I'll try to help you.